These are possibly the best two weeks of our lives. I'm gonna do that! <laughs> yes! JP's worth the more And pretend like Coachella was the best weekend of my life because it really wasn't. Welcome to my Coachella vlog. I cannot believe that I'm saying that. A, all together. B, with a cold. To be honest, we've just made it to Palm Springs. Well, we actually got here a few hours ago. It took us all day to get here. I wish I was joking. I wish it didn't take us. How long? About 10 hours? Wow. Wow. And no, we didn't travel from the UK. We traveled from Miami. So we were literally not even that far away. Basically, we went to a layover in Arizona from Miami and that was delayed. But we're not going to start off this vlog with a negative attitude, okay? I'm wearing my justice jumper. We went to see JB last night. Listen, if you've just stumbled across this video and you're like, who is this girl? Honestly, we're living our best lives right now. I'm going to gloat. I'm going to say, like, these are possibly the best two weeks of our lives. Right now, can I get it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So this should be the third travel vlog in a row right now. Um, okay, then <laughs> this completely okay. depends if I get enough footage for this. I'm hoping that this is a whole Coachella vlog. It should be. And then LA. I think you will. So it should be five American travel vlogs. But anyway, hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining. If you're new here, I'm Sid and I'm on holiday with my best friend Molly. We actually have a third band member joining us for this vlog. Well, I don't know how much she'll be in the vlog because... I just don't know how Coachella works, to be honest, we're newbies. But anyway, I'm waffling. This is my outfit, if anyone cares. Justice tour. He's coming to the UK, guys, don't worry. It's going to be insane. It is the best. That'll be in the Miami vlog. And then I got some new Levi's the other day from Free People. And they're really cute. I might actually wear them to one of the days of Coachella. But you have to wait and see in the video or on my Instagram. Anyway, let me flip the camera. I'm definitely avoiding flipping the camera because... <laughs> This is what you can call a travel face that's not been washed. I'm going to be honest with you. Haven't showered since 7 and it's about... 9.07. It's 9.07. So yeah, she's not washed in about 14 hours. That is grim, okay? But hear me out. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. It's been a long <sighs> We have Saffron joining us. She is currently on her way to Palm Springs. She's a lot slower than us. So she's... Looking to be here in about three hours. We might be asleep by then, but that's okay because we've got the whole weekend with her. Anyway, we're in Palm Springs. It's such a beautiful place. Before I get started and talk about that, I want to give you a room tour because it makes sense. All my vlogs, I give room tours no matter where we're staying. Even though it looks a tiny bit like a bomb's here, the lighting is awful. Also, let me quickly touch on the fact I am ill right now. I have a stinking cold. It's not COVID, it's nothing bad. However, I am sneezing approximately every 90 seconds and praying to God that it goes by the morning. I'm taking a lot of vitamins, a lot of... I'm dosing myself up. I'm hopefully going to feel better tomorrow, but it's been a problem. Room tour. Here we go. We are staying at a hotel called the Zoso. Oh my God, I need to sneeze. <laughs> We've got nice big double mirrors, which is for wardrobe. We're only here for three days, so we probably won't use the wardrobe, she says, where she's put her cowboy boots already. Got a nice little robe. But I really appreciate this big mirror. Bathroom. This hotel, I can't lie, is pretty basic, but... Cost a bomb. Yeah, this cost a bomb because, obviously, it's Coachella weekend. And this hotel was stardust. It was hard to get. We actually thought we weren't going to have a hotel at one point. And we pan it, but it's fine. It's perfect actually because it's so big, as in spacious. So we've just come from yeah, Miami. Yeah, so we're lucky with the And our room was so room, small. Actually. And originally it was me and Molly, Saf's kind of jumped in with us. So we had a bed each at one point, mm. which is phenomenal. It does the job to be honest. We're literally gonna be sleeping here. We've obviously made a lot of mess. And then we've got balcony. I probably should have filmed this oh, a little bit earlier. You cannot see the cliff. Mountain. Oh my god, you actually it? can't. In the morning, it will look hundred times oh better because god. you can see oh, you can the, kind of you can just see the outline. <gasps> oh my god, you can see the stars so clear. Oh my god, they show up on camera. Yeah. Some of them. Yeah, look. Wow. In the morning, you'll see. 
You can kind of see cold actually in the, the outline of the mountains. Are they called mountains? Oh, Who knows at this point? But yeah, it's cute. It does the job, and we're just so grateful to be here. Good morning, Palm Springs. Day one of Coachella is about to start. Well, it's not actually about to start. It is 8:01. We're just on our way to the Beauty Works O Poly situation. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a house. I assume they've rented a, like a condo kind of thing, and they're doing a gifting suite with the O Poly new festival collection. Beauty Works are doing all the hair. I think there's makeup artists. We're not actually going to get our makeup done. We're just going to get hair. And with Mo, she's going to shout at me if I put the camera on her right now because she's not feeling like it's her moment. And we've left Saffron in bed. I've not actually put her in the vlog yet because it was all a bit manic. We fell asleep. We was in a deep sleep when she came through the door. Oh she came in about midnight. And then, yeah, we went straight back to sleep. We woke up, she was gonna come with us, but she's booked in a slot a little bit later to get her hair done. But we just thought once we were awake, we might as well get out and get our hair done and then we can kind of just swap out. So that's what we're doing. Obviously it's a beautiful day. I feel like they probably don't see clouds here, so. Do you actually ever get clouds here? Hey, <laughs> we do. Not you many do. though, not, not many. many. Yes, <laughs> yes. But there is clouds, What's the yes. coldest it gets? Uh, let's see, in December, no, January, we got about, I think, 55, so I don't know, Celsius, I don't know what that I is. I think it's so like 50, 20? Maybe 20, yeah, oh, something like that. Wow. Or 15, you know, maybe 15 in Celsius. Uh, wow. That's yeah. crazy, that's a warm day for that's us. That's a warm day. Yeah, it is. That actually day. is a warm day for us. <laughs> I'm in the hot seat, so we're going for a long like bubble braid kind of pony and I'm actually really glad because I just feel like it's gonna make me feel nice and cool having my hair up <laughs> it's way too hot to have my I say that but I probably will have my hair down tomorrow but I'm just gonna well we'll see if I'm nice and cool today having my hair up maybe I'll have my hair up again tomorrow but yeah we're going for a really long pony bubbles if that doesn't make sense I'll have to show you in a sec but you know where you do like hair bands down the hair and then you like poof it out kind of thing. I'm excited. What are you going for, Mum? I'm going for waves with braids around the face. Cute. Is that the best way to describe it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cute. And it's so beautiful here. I keep looking in that mirror. It looks like a, black, a backdrop of a green screen. <laughs> My hair is done. We're gonna have to pan around the back because I actually can't show it right now, and I'm scared to move too much. So. Here she is, the pink-haired girl. Okay, the, the pink hair is not looking cute right now. So just. It will you can look see the cute. vibe. Show, see the vibe. Show the hair that you've got I, she's got more I, hair. There's more hair going in. Yeah. The vlog is just progressively, we're going to get prettier as we go, hopefully. Yeah, that <laughs> is actually the goal. That is honestly. You should have the seen the clip of me woke up this morning. I was like, morning. Anyway, like sniffly nose. But we're excited. We're ready. Well, we are, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not ready. If I had a vlog due this morning, she was literally like, eyes closed, like, girls just go. I, I'll and meet you there. I'm not kidding. Like, so I heard somebody get up. I think I think it was Molly. Yeah. I heard her get up, and I saw. And I, honestly, I thought this was Molly sat here, but it was you. And I didn't even say morning or anything to anyone. I just closed my eyes because my phone. I couldn't charge it next to my bed, so I needed to check what time my appointment was. So I literally walked over with my eyes closed. Yeah. Anything. And then when picked up my phone. And I said to you, I went. I swear to God, I thought you were sleepwalking. <laughs> yeah. You, it didn't. I go with sleep. I don't sleep. <laughs> We're going to get Jella. Oh my god, I actually can't believe it. I'm so buzzing. The day is here. And so I can't buzzing. believe you finally actually decided to come. I know. When you were like, very Shall last I? minute. Yes. Very last minute. Alphys aren't the cutest, but we're just gonna... No, you're, you're gonna look bomb. It's official. We are day one ready. Just about. Are we ready? We're ready. Ready. The room, it looks like a tornado come round and just landed smack bang. In the middle. Oh, it picks up so worse on camera and in person, I think. <laughs> no, we'll it's fine, we'll just ignore, eyes. but... We're ready, we're ready, we're, we're ready! ready. Woo. This is the weirdest feeling, like, I, I just keep thinking, like, have I got everything? Do I look okay? I feel like it's such a big hype, thinking I'm going to Coachella, and when you're ready, it's almost underwhelming, because you're like, 
Wait, why don't I look like Vanessa Hudgens? I'm confused. Yes. I expect Hudgens. a more bit. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens. Everyone takes a piss out of me. I can't say it right. We're just, oh, sorry, babe. We're, we're just over, we're, over, we're all over things. You it's can't even pressure. really see. So Being an influencer going to Coachella is pressure. I think that's why I don't feel pressure. I was going to do that. <laughs> We'll show you our outfits properly in a bit, but this is what we're going for. We've all gone for very different looks. Um, yeah, we'll show our outfits properly Ooh. when we leave, but but to be honest, we've all been faffing so much, and I don't we're, know. Do you know what? We just need to drink. We just need to drink, and we need to just... It's come over me how indecisive I am. Yeah. Me and you... Worse. If, if it was just us two, we'd get nowhere. Do you know like, what? I reckon, I reckon we could stay here all day. And, <laughs> and change clothes. And just change clothes, couldn't we? Yeah. Just change clothes all day long. <laughs> we are ready, let's go! We are here at Coachella. I feel like everybody is a little bit drunk, but because I've been so unwell, I'm trying to stay hydrated. I feel so boring and old, but I'm drinking water. I have had a beer. I'm a beer girl when it comes to being in the sunshine, which, to be honest, little story. Holly Neville is actually a very big fan of Roman Kemp. Of Roman Kemp. And Saffron just told us, if you meet him, have a beer in your hand. And I was like, well. We can do that. Looks like unintentionally, I'm going to end up being Roman Kemp's type because I was sipping on my beer. They've got their yeah. doubles. But I feel like we are living the dream right now. We are. I can't believe we're here. Six, Sixteen year old Sid and Mole. Are screaming. Are screaming. Screaming. I reckon they're like, I don't believe you. Look I actually that. can't believe What did you call that the other day? What? Um, the classroom of birds. <laughs> the school of birds. They're they? called a school of birds. <laughs> They've put a seat for Coachella! <laughs> We've made so many Australian friends. I mean, I'm like, generalised. Are you all from Australia? No, I'm from like, North Wales. <laughs> right, there we go. North Wales, there we go. Yeah. Oh, inside the clip, we saw the Selling Sunset cast. Oh, yeah. That's when I. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. I'm a massive fan girl. I, I was trying to play cool. City I'm a massive yeah, fan girl. The sun has just set, as you can probably see over there. I mean, it's a little bit dusky. To be honest, dusky. My yeah, camera's probably like dusty because so of the like, floor yeah. and like all the sand and stuff. But really yeah, we've been here a couple hours and not just seen any action. But what update yeah, will we do? But honestly, I just keep yeah, trying to stand and take it all in because it's, everything looks like Pinterest. It's crazy. If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you tell me what you Coachella, what well, it doesn't actually, I was gonna say at our hotel. That is a 
house pool party outside. I hope I don't get copyrighted. Is this even a song or are they just literally someone DJing pressing one button? Oops, 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 oops. <sighs> anyway, what happened last night? I didn't really wrap the vlog. Um, my pony fell out. Um, me and Mo actually left like three, four songs deep into Harry. Just because... He, he, does was that. Who he, does was that? he was unreal. He was unreal. Oh, I stayed, what? guys. Yeah, Saf did actually stay. Do you know what my thing is? Love Harry Styles, but I feel like I really overdid him as a child. Like, yeah. I've seen him so much, but always with One Direction. And I still love him. I can appreciate him, but I'm not like Justin Bieber vibes with him, if that makes sense. And we also kind of just glanced at each other and gave each other the eye, like, should we beat? The crowds. Eyes look so much bluer now. Really? What? You can see the blue. Yeah, so I've done Saf's eyeliner today. Oh my god, look how blue they look. Oh, the liner, wow. And that. then I didn't, I'm not responsible for them. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to have more. I was like, babe, can we just do something cool? I did two little lines, it was terrible. That was absolutely not my idea. But yeah, it's day two. We've gone out for Starbucks this morning and now we're just leisurely getting ready. We said we'd try and be a bit earlier than yesterday, but I don't think it's going to work out, to be honest. Billie Eilish headlining today. Oh, JB come out last night. Oh my god. We knew it. We knew he would. We also have a tiny, 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 tiny inkling, maybe we'll speak it into existence, uh, that Justin might be going to Coachella. I, we but, never bolted. We looked at each other yeah. and we're like, run. <laughs> run. Like, if we lose each other, we'll figure it out later. All but, the other girls were like, you guys just ran. Ran? Yeah. Yes, are you joking? Yeah. Of course we did. But I just knew it. Okay. I heard the beat go like, do, 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 yeah, like the, the beginning yeah. of the features, and I was like, run! <laughs> One sec, I just need to switch my hair. Sorry about that. Back. But, yeah, Justin Bieber coming out. Wow. wow. Even though he was on stage, I reckon about 45 seconds. Like, he actually yeah, was. he actually was. Only two blinks he blink is gone. Well, you got to think. Daniel Caesar's only in about 40 seconds of it. So once Justin's done his burst and Daniel Caesar, he can't make it like a JB concert. I wish he did at least. I know. Also, I didn't wear earrings yesterday. I was so upset. So Thank you. I put them in as soon as I woke up so I don't forget. This is as Coachella as it's getting. And I actually bought this ring yesterday in a little shop in Palm Springs. I've actually got colored liner on today. Too. I look very pale and tired today. No, you don't. You don't think? Yeah, I've got turquoise on today because it kind of goes with my outfit, which you'll see shortly. But anyway, we're gonna finish getting ready and then we're off for a date. Won't you love me till the morning? Love me in the evening, you know what I want. Won't you hold me like I'm yours? Show me that I'm yours. You know just what I want. Won't you love me like the last time? Like a time was right now. We are at the Soho, what is it called? I've got it on my, my wristband. The Soho Desert event which is like a little pre-party kind of thing. Oh my God, the queue for the food. Basically, once you come here, all food and drinks included. It's like really nice beachy kind of vibes. I don't know if I'm gonna have to just cut this up loads to the music, but it's pretty much like a mini Coachella and we're gonna grab some food before we head over to the festival. It's actually like six o'clock now. The day has gone so fast. I haven't even shown my outfit, but this is definitely my favorite outfit. I'll try and get a clip in a second, but this is from Rat and Baba, and my hat is from Even if I turn the camera around to try and show you, put your glasses on everyone. Get your magnifying glasses out. Can you see him over there? Oh, I, I really love him. He's someone that I actually thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. Anyway, we're queuing up for some pizza. Just talk. Talk about where we're going. Hey, girls! I'm a blast! Aussie twins! Tea. This is my idea of a good time. Look who's here. How you feeling? A strong two out of ten. So guys, as you all know, well, I don't, have I, I don't think I've, tr I've tried not to moan too much, but I've been feeling so ill. And I think, unfortunately, Molly, me and Molly have been sharing a bed, so. It was inevitable. Yeah, <laughs> it was. The guy cut mine. Hello, darling. You look very glittery. Do I? What did you get? Look, the guy cut mine. We've got ours cut. 
Oh, you did get it cut in the end. Oh, oh the margarita looks so good. Have some, good. please have some. I will. Oh, pizza party! Pizza party. Happy Sunday guys, it is day three of our Coachella weekend and I don't know how to break it to you all but we're not actually heading to Coachella today. We are gonna go to one of the day parties and we're actually a band member down. So as you would have seen through this vlog, probably the end of the last vlog, I've been pretty ill. I think I played it down a lot on camera just because I didn't want to come across like I'm just being so miserable while I'm away but I was very, very ill and I think it was inevitable that Molly was going to get it because we've been sharing a bed together. We've been trying not Very to like. Long as well, even yeah. just the trip in general. One hundred percent. So it is a lot. And to be honest, I don't know if you can tell by my voice if you watch my videos all the time. Like, <laughs> I am still a little bit bunged up, but I definitely feel like a hundred times better than I did yesterday, day before, day before, day before. I feel like my worst day, sadly, was the first day of Coachella, which is so sad because it kind of like dampened the mood for me, but. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna make today good, aren't we? Even we're though we make today we're great. both very, we're feeling like a bit low in energy. We, we have got low energy. We're going to Starbucks though. Yeah. Uh, get I a don't coffee. think I've ever seen myself this low energy in my life. To be honest, stuff's been <laughs> stuff's been going out. The amount me and Molly should. She's doing it for all three of us. <laughs> I have actually been doing it, guys. I've been getting at eight a.m. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you, I haven't finished off the vlogs each day because. I've been going to bed. We've been going to bed quite early. Well, no, for me and Molly, I've been getting in about half one, which is a lot. This whole Coachella experience, it's, it's a lot. Anyway, coffee, and then we're gonna go to Soho Desert, which I absolutely love. What did you just say to me? I said, if you get me, look, I will smack you so hard. Oh my goodness. Uh, when I tell you, I can't even remember. No, I was going to say this, the end person of this vlog is a completely different to the beginning, but I think I've just been <laughs> ill throughout. <coughs> that sound is all we've heard in this room for four days. At this point, I don't know who's the most ill. I feel like Saffron's just leaning into it. I'm le leaning out of it. Molly's in the depth of it. It's, we are a disaster. <coughs> oh my God, don't make me laugh because it makes me cough. Yeah, what is it? You laugh and then it's like... Because <laughs> you're like battling for air. But anyway, that is it. It's the end of Coachella. I literally want to say thank God because it's a lot. We've been killed off, we're broken men. We really, really are. And we have actually got a shoot out the door right now. So I feel like I'll add a little clip at the end and just give my experience and opinion on Coachella. I don't think it's what people expect, but I will say one thing which gives a hint. Would you come back? I, I wouldn't rush back, I don't think. No, I wouldn't come back in a hurry. Do you but know what it is, I think it's made out to be so much like bigger and better than it actually is and that's like the honest truth yeah it's quite underwhelming it's very overhyped but i feel like that's anything on instagram well, but anyway for now we're gonna say bye to saf because she's getting back to la a different way from we are oh my god i look so <laughs> off it's actually hype are you just blurring my face Hi. <laughs> 12 year old girl putting a baby <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously since gonna blow my face <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for day three with me. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys in a little while before I wrap this vlog, but I hope you enjoyed seeing us in Palm Springs. Next stop, LA baby. Stop being a baby. No, I hate it. I absolutely hate my hair. Listen, there's worse things happening. We could still be at Coachella. <laughs> Hi everyone, I wanted to quickly wrap the Coachella vlog and just sit down and talk through 
my opinions and I think I'm talking on behalf of me and Molly a little bit. She's in the bathroom having a bit of a hissy fit at the moment about her hair. I put my story yesterday that I don't even know where it come from. I just randomly was like, I can't just sit here and keep posting these outfit pics and pretend like Coachella was the best weekend of my life because it really wasn't. It something I'm really glad that I've done because I think I'd always be like, oh my God, Coachella, 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 kind of like how my DMs are full. Like everyone be like, you're living the dream life. You're literally like, I'm so jealous, blah, 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 blah. For me personally, it wasn't it. Um, I'm glad I've done it, like I said, because I think it's something that's on loads of people's bucket lists. It was definitely on mine. It's something I've wanted to do and experience since I was like 14, 15, 16, like watching Vanessa Hudgens every year go and wear the best outfits ever, and like Hayley Bieber every year. And I don't know, the, the, from the day I walked in on the Friday, I straight away, well, I actually already said to Molly on the way to Palm Springs, I said, I do feel like Coachella is gonna be either a massive love or a massive hate for me. I am one of them people, I I'm not really like, oh, it's okay. Like I do have quite strong opinions on things. So I don't know if I maybe already, I don't know, maybe I had, they say don't have any expectations in life and then you won't be disappointed. Maybe that's the issue, but I feel like it's really hard to not have an expectation for Coachella because Coachella is plastered on the internet, especially in the little world that I'm in, influencers, like it's influencer galore. Um, yeah, so I got there on Friday and I don't know, did you feel the same? Oh, I just feel like, I I remember look, even like looking at the wheel, this is, so, and I honestly, I just quickly wanted to give a disclaimer. I really, I'm so grateful I'm in the position where I can take myself to Coachella. Like I didn't go on a brand trip or anything. I, we both paid out of our own money. We had the tickets booked for over a year. I know a lot of people aren't in the position where they can just jet across the other side of the world and go to a festival for three days. I'm very, very aware that I'm very privileged to be in this position. However, <clears throat> I would like to give the opinion because I know it's some people's dream to go and even if I can just like save some people some money. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, just like, I don't know. The, like my first, I remember my first thing feeling being like, oh, the wheel's small. And that sounds so direct, but just shows like everything on Instagram is made out to be so much bigger, bigger. and larger than life and so much more like, it's lit. We kept saying it. it is a British festival, just plonked. It's, obviously, it's not a British festival. The only way we can describe it is we're from the UK. We've been to British festivals. It's made out to be this like la la land, like Disneyland, and it's yeah. just not. I think the only part of it that's not an English festival is everywhere you look, there is someone like there's a face that you know. Yeah. And I think, yeah, that's cool, but other than that, it's just a festival. And I can remember saying, on the coach like it doesn't feel like you're going to a music festival it's like an event mm. that's the do you think yeah it's I mean, like don't it get takes me... away from the yeah the, the music and the people that you want to go to see because there's so much pressure that it's like this event that you're going to yeah by all means if your aim is to if you are one of them people and you love like celebrity spotting and just playing a game who can who can spot next and it could be a really fun place and do you know what in the end we got to the point where we were kind of just sitting down and we were like who can we spot mm. because I don't know there's so many different aspects for, for me personally overall I would not rush back I don't want to sit here and say I'll never go again because in my job I do feel like I am in a position where I could potentially be invited one year and maybe I'm in a completely different mindset one year and I might end up going back however I personally wouldn't spend my money on going again and rushing back anytime soon unless it's one of them things like giving birth and you forget what it's like <laughs> you want to re-experience it but mine stems mainly from if i had to give like a key point is like i just don't think i'm a festival girl and there were little points where i was just like especially the first day for me so the first day for me i was really unwell and i still wanted to go because obviously it's the first day of coachella i couldn't miss it um and i'm not saying you have to drink to have a good time but I wasn't in a position where I could be drinking that day I tried to have one drink and enjoy myself but because I was taking tablets I just felt like a little bit uneasy and honestly I think I was day one everyone kind of goes a bit hard because they're like oh my god it's the first day blah 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 and 
everyone in the section we were in was like so drunk not even like i'm not even talking about the girls because obviously they weren't but I, just, I looked one way and someone was i'm gonna be really real like snorting cocaine mm. and looking another way and like i just felt so uneasy and i just i don't know if that's like the background i've grown up in and like the things that are kind of like don't sit right with me and we missed so many of the acts just because maybe that's our own fault we didn't plan it properly and like the, it's so big there you don't i don't know i just feel like we were there for three days and we probably saw four acts yeah there's so much to say i literally could make a whole video about it but please don't think what you see online like it's this amazing place where you're gonna feel like the and like if you don't go to coachella you're missing out you're not like i i think Coachella's one of those things it's, it is made out to be like this huge thing and like if you don't go in life then you're missing out on something and I think the main point is you're really not like yeah the best part for me was making new friends yeah which you can do in so many different <clears throat> other circumstances personally for us we went to see Justin Bieber on Wednesday at a concert in like an arena and then we went to Coachella on the Friday for me and being in an arena and then being at a festival all day long I'd rather go to a concert yeah. so I saw a few comments people being like you go to you've gone to a festival for the wrong reason that's why I I've, I wanted to go for the music I love music and I think anyone I do think Coachella is really well-rounded where anyone anyone with any music taste could go there and find someone they like and yeah 100% but it's just not like I don't think people go to Coachella for the music but maybe that's where we were wrong but that's what I mean by like it's like an event. I do think, yeah, we had luckily again very privileged that like, we were in VIP. Our tickets were more expensive than <clears> being like general admission, so technically we had better sections of the place where we could have a better view. We had like less queues for drinks, we had more options for food, and I still feel like I was very underwhelmed. I think that's the key word. I was very underwhelmed, and by day three. Molly didn't actually go, and I didn't, I don't know why I went, but <clears throat> yeah, another thing people always don't talk about, it's so hard to get to Coachella, once you're in Palm Springs, it's kind of like out in the desert, there's not really many places to stay around it, unless you own one of the big houses, I'm sure all the celebrities are staying like within like a couple miles, but every day it's a 40 minute drive into Coachella, and then getting out of Coachella, let me just tell you, if you do end up going, get the shuttle pass. It sounds something like you'd be like, oh, I don't want to get a shuttle pass. Ew, like, it's the best, most well-planned out thing that Coachella have. Mm -hmm. You go back to the area where you're based. We were personally based in Palm Springs, but you can go back to like uh, the Marriott hotels. You can go back, to, like there's all different sections and you go onto the buses. They are lined up. Literally, if a bus is full, it takes off and it takes you back to it's your like hotel. It's seven, isn't there? And it's just yeah. like, one in, one out, it's one in, It's so one out. well planned. And obviously they've got it down to a T. They do Coachella every single year. I think maybe if we felt 100% as well. Yeah, maybe it's down to how it, we were feeling. But I just, yeah, it's not... It's just, for me, it, I, I think I fell into my own trap of, wow, it, I, I fell for all the we went, Yeah, we went with such huge expectations and actually it's just another festival that... Yeah. So... It's just one of the things again, like don't believe everything you, you read you online, you live and you learn. I don't doubt some people did have a really amazing time and there's some aspects of it where we had a great time. We met some amazing people that we never ever would have met, as in some of the girls we met were from Australia. There's no way we would have ever been in that like circumstance yeah. together. So we had some really amazing moments, some of the acts were really amazing, but all in all, um, yeah, I think it just well, wasn't for me. Just the, my biggest thing was... <clears throat> that the like headlining act is so late yeah it's like they it's come on at such like long quarter days. to 12 and, you, and they don't finish until one and you're like you're knackered by that point that's my biggest thing that i was and like and then the next Whoa. day you've got to go all the way back and come mm. on it's it some people are going to sit there like shaking their head like first world problems 100 percent. it 100 percent. yeah is. we know absolutely and i know we sound crazy but i just wanted to so many people are grateful that i mentioned it online but i just wanted to say at the end of this video <coughs> it 
probably looks like we had a really good time but of course again I filmed the best bits I wasn't gonna whip my camera up the day I was crying being like oh I don't even know if I want to go like you just don't do that but yeah people make their own opinion if it's something that you've got on your bucket list by all means go and let me know how you get on if you have been again DM me tell me how you found it mm -hmm. um, but yeah that is the end of this vlog also, the pressure of the outfits. I can't take the pressure of the outfits. The pressure of it's the a outfits. lot to be picked apart as well. Day by day three, I didn't care what I had on because I didn't think I was even going to go. So. I didn't have any outfits on the morning of Coachella. So. It's a lot. It really yeah. is. But yeah, over and out, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.